Hi, I'm Mike Tidwell, Director of the Chesapeake Climate Action Network. Here we are in our seventh floor office in Tacoma Park, overlooking Maryland and Washington, D.C. And of the many amazing trees that we see in this urban canopy, there's one that really stands out, twice as big as all the others. You see it right there. A grandfather tree. I've admired it forever. Recently, I tracked it down, walked to the base of that tree to admire it up close, but I discovered a silent killer that's taking out its life and harming climate change. I want to show you. As you can see, it's a beautiful spring day. It's a bit chilly. Uh, April, uh, flowering trees all around us. Uh, should be a time to celebrate. Uh, but unfortunately, we're going to go see a pretty sad sight of this uh, really old tree. So now we're in D.C. We're entering a really old neighborhood of Tacoma, D.C. Uh, many of these homes were built uh, between uh, 50 and 100 years ago. Uh, but the tree on that property was there before the house was built because the tree is at least 150 years old. All right, so trees right there. You can see it's just massive. It's twice as big as anything around it. Here's a pretty big tree right here, and it's not even close to what this thing is. We're at Dixon Butternut in DC. Beautiful spring day. And you'll see finally what I saw a few weeks ago when I came here for the first time. Really looking forward to see that thing right there. Looking forward to sort of paying homage to this incredible tree. But then when I got here, I saw that. And you can see it is a combination of English ivy and I think uh, oriental bitter, bitter root. But those uh, invasive vines are absolutely killing that tree. So you can see right through here, the base of the tree, which is, I don't know, that's probably about a 10 foot circumference. Uh, and we're going to get in there and cut all those vines. I only have three tools. I have a simple pruning knife, which you may or may not need in your own uh, efforts. A key, just a gardening clipper. This is the key right here. And I'm also going to use this uh, re regular hedge clipper to get clear path to get in there. So these are my three tools. This is all I need. All right, here we go. This is just a, a giant party of invasive species here. See that just comes right off. So the goal is simply to cut these vines. You can see I've cut this one right here, it comes right off. So I'm just gonna go in with clippers and this printing saw, cut everything all around the base, all the way down to the ground, and that's gonna protect the tree. That's gonna kill everything above me instantly. With my left hand, and a pruning saw. I'm basically taking care of 90% of the problem. There it is. It's cut. I'll cut it a second time right here. Look at that. That's what's been killing this tree. It took me literally 60 seconds to cut that. So there you have it. This tree, 150 years old, been here since at least 1870. It took 20 minutes of those 150 years to save it for, we hope, another 100 years, sequestering carbon, helping the atmosphere, beautifying these homes, cooling them in the summer, saving them tens of thousands of dollars in re removing this tree and also adding tens of thousands of dollars in home value. Took me 20 minutes to take care of it. Now, just while we're here, I noticed another tree right here. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. There's another one right there that's covered in vine. And then two seconds.
probably take me five minutes to take care of this tree. Again, wherever you look in your neighborhood, you're going to see this, and wherever you see it, you can take care of it.